What's up, Buckeyes? How ready are you for this? Um, I was saying in the car when I was riding over Jacoby, this is the, the most excited I've been for camp, but without being like super excited because it's camp. So. <laughs> Why is that? It's my last shot at it, you know? Um, I remember I was talking to my brother when I was in high school and he was saying how, you know, football went so fast for him in high school and it's gone even faster for me in college. So, you know, it's my last shot at it, my last chance to kind of make a mark uh, as a player here. So. I want to go out right. How much, what's, your, what's your sense of how this team's going to be, Sorry. Taylor? Do you have a good feel about this team? What's what's your feeling about this team? I do because you know, like I was, I was just in there in those workouts this off season, um, and I, you know, I didn't sense you know much complacency, which is you know a good thing coming off a, a national championship season. Uh, I think it's good for guys to realize that we're we're not that same team. This is a new season, and um, you know, I think camp will be really telling of who's going to step up in some of those positions that. Uh, have been left open by uh, departures. But you guys are number one in the country, you know, at least in one poll, big poll already and stuff. What's the trick to handling that? Well, I think um, I think the big thing was in the off season. Uh, it was kind of established by the leaders of our team that we're not going to let that uh, affect how we perform this season. And then, um, I mean, I've said it before, our, our leaders are going to drive our culture, which will drive the behavior of everybody. So I think that's been the big thing. From an O-lineman standpoint, what are some of the subtle differences between JT and Cardell that we may not notice, that only you guys know? I think JT's big thing are his intangibles. You know, he's just incredibly poised and he's a natural leader. Um, just the type of people, that, the type of person that people want to rally around. Um, and then, you know, Cardell, you know, obviously everybody sees he's got that, that big arm ability, that big play ability, but his, he's got an amazing amount of positivity in the backfield. Um, you know, if somebody misses a block and, you know, he takes a hit or something like that, you know, he's always been positive about it. And that's, that's one thing that I was really impressed with him stepping into, you know, the Big Ten Championship as his first start was how positive he was. Taylor, what's the, the uh, uh, number one thing that gets you through? What do you have to bring? What's the, like, essential thing that you have to pack to get through this? Uh, box five-hour interviews. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my go-to right there. <laughs> Jerry's got him somewhere. I hope he didn't steal him. You guys yeah, ate more than one at one time? Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just a little something to, to get my juice up. But, uh, 10 hours if you take two? <laughs> something, I mean, yeah, I probably need it. I probably do need to take two. I might have to sample that out this, uh, this camp. Tim, how much have camps changed under Urban Meyer from first camp to this one? I mean, well, you don't know about this one yet, but the three, I mean, how much have they, have they been more intense from year to year or have they been about the same? How would you judge it? Um, I think when we first got here, they were definitely more intense. Um, I think they've, you know, they're, they're not easy by any means anymore, but I think they've, you know, toned down a bit just because he trusts us and uh, he kind of knows what, what kind of people we have around here. Um, so there's just that level of trust and you know, there's that respect that, you know, even though even though we may cut back a practice here or there just to save our legs or, you know, save our bodies, that, you know, we're still going to go in with the right mindset and to get better uh, day in and day out.